Red flags were popping up in Michigan Governor Rick Snyder's inbox for months about the polluted drinking water in Flint, long before the lead contamination problems became public. Dean Reynolds is looking into the latest batch of emails. Problems surfaced soon after this city, under orders from a government-appointed emergency manager, switched its water from Lake Huron to the heavily industrial Flint River. Here's the flag. Here. It was cheaper that way, but the water was discolored and foul-smelling, and people got sick. Jim Ananick is a state senator. Time and time again, members of the highest levels of the government have clearly been just lying to the citizens of Flint and to everyone else. And now emails from Governor Rick Snyder's own aides show they too knew the water was bad early on. In October of 2014, a half year into the plan, Snyder's policy advisor Valerie Brader wrote that elevated chlorine levels could cause long-term damage if not remedied. Michael Godola, the governor's legal assistant, responded, they should try to get back on the Detroit system as a stopgap ASAP before this thing gets too far out of control. The state's water quality experts insisted the river water was fine. But independent researchers said the heavily treated river water was so corrosive, lead from aging pipes was leaching into the water for homes. Today, a contrite Snyder held a press conference. There were red flags here in these emails, if you look at it, and beyond emails. We didn't connect all the dots that I wish we would have. Melissa Mays was among the first to complain about the water here. When you read the emails today, how did you feel? Furious. I, I keep telling myself, you, nothing's going to shock you anymore. All this time, these people sat in the office going back and forth, emailing about this, but nobody stood up and helped us. Governor Snyder has authorized a $30 million aid package for Flint residents to help them pay the water bills they're still getting. As he put it, people shouldn't have to pay for water they cannot drink. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Dean Reynolds, Flint, Michigan.